Hello and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. Now it's a good buddy Oz here and today we're going to play some Minecraft. Just something a little bit different. Well actually to be honest I was about to play it anyway but I thought hey why don't we record it and we make it a little bit more fun and also what we're going to do is go over the most recent snapshot which I think is called 1.16 I think I think that's the most recent one and uh, we're going to go through the main things like the cool things like uh, the nether portals and uh, ne not nether portals uh, the nether like the big changes to the nether um, all the new things like hoglands and and a little what they call the little pigman villages? I don't know really the official names. But either way, this is not going to be the most informative kind of video, but it should be the most fun video. So uh, what we're going to do is, um, oh, I'll quickly show you my house. Here we go. Uh, so it's like a castle. I was trying to like make everything as cramped up and small as possible. That is by design. It's not as horrible. Um, now this is my elevator. I found water elevators a little bit faster than ladders and less hassle. Um, enchantment area, a little stove, and then we go up again. Yeah, as long as it's not a long elevator, then you don't have to worry about drowning. Oh, this is where I made my cool banner. Um, now let's get out of here. And then honey elevator. You can die using it, but not not if you're careful. So not if you decide to lean into the walls. Now anyway, I think we're ready to go. We got a little bit of bread. B, you can use the door if you really want to. Yeah, why not? Um, now I've got the portal to the uh, nether down here. And the reason I put them underwater is because it's funny when you see uh, fish come through here and you see them on the other side of the portal. Also it kind of hides all the sound so you can't hear that horrible nether sound all the time. Um, is there any fish? Sometimes you come through here and there'll be dead fish. But no, not this time. Um, yeah, like, yeah, do it yourself. It's an awesome way to get food because yeah, fish just swim through then, they get, then you just find dead fish on the ground here. Um, anyway, we're in the new nether area, so this seems to be uh, some of the blue forest, mushroom forest, this looks like the crimson mushroom forest, um, again I don't know the official names for things, and look over there we got some piglins I think they're called, I think piglins are the people, hoglins are the big kind of giant wild, whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, I died. <laughs> I fell in a hole full of lava. That was very scary, but I, I at least I respawned, but I don't have any stuff now. But that's all right. We can quickly um, get what we need using the powers of uh, cheating. So give me a second. I'm going to quickly put on creative mode and get my stuff back. It's been far more fun doing that than um, you watching me get diamond weapons and armor and everything like that again. So let's quickly do it. Okay, now, night has fallen and I have uh, used uh, creative mode to get my stuff back. And, uh, hey, why can't I see my shield? Oh, there it is. Um, and that was kind of funny. Like, I think most professional gamers would probably, or, or people who do playthroughs, would probably uh, get rid of the beginning and just do it again. But that was far too funny for me just to walk into the nether and straight away fall down the pit. Anyway, let's jump back in here and uh, see what we can do with these piglins and these hoglins. Okay, it's happening. Where are we? Okay, now I have got my gear back. Whoa, okay, I'm terrified of pits now. Uh, I've got my gear back, uh, but the most important, well, roughly, I haven't gone so overboard, but the um, most important thing is that I'm wearing this golden helmet. So some people weren't sure how far you need to go with um, getting golden armor or golden equipment. And yeah, you don't need a full set of it, you just need one piece of uh, golden armor. Well, that's at the moment anyway. Now, I'm just getting some of this crimson... I don't know what its proper name is. Crimson Nillium? Uh, just so I can plant trees when we get back home. Uh, but anyway, there's a hoglin. So the one that looks like a... I don't know, a warthog with the big horns. That's a hoglin. And then the dude behind him is a piglin. And he seems to be... Attacking. Oh, look, they're having a fight. They're having a fight. I think. Oh, he's got a good position. I don't know what started that fight. Now, these hoglins are pretty scary. Like, if they see you, oh, like this, they will charge you and they do a lot of damage. Hey, maybe I can get them to come through the portal. Yeah, look at that. Problem solved. He's now going to be drowning. <laughs> so he walked, he chased me, but through the portal, and now he's gone. And I think I should try to. 
push the piglin in as well. So I know they like gold, so maybe he'll come to me if I uh, give him gold and then I can push him through the portal to the uh, other side. Let's try that. Okay, he's gone. Now let's follow them because I want to see what happened to that hoglin and that piglin man. Okay, piglin is probably drowning. Hoglin is nowhere to be seen. It's a shame it's night time. Oh, there he is. Okay, Piglin went back. Hoglin just drowned. Okay, so they can't swim forever. He dropped some pork, it looks like. Uh, but no, the Piglin was clever enough to go back through the portal. But that was cool, that was fun. Maybe you could set up cages on this side of, um, on the, what do you call it, overworld? Is that what they call it? Hey, he turned into a zombie pig. Now, um, I did hear, if they stayed in the overworld for too long, they turn into just zombie pigs. They, they shake and quiver, and then uh, they start to make little smoke from them, and then they transform into the zombie pig. Or zombie pigmen? Is that what they're called? I don't know. Anyway, um, so that was cool. That was a cool experiment, because we saw them to, saw them change. Well, we didn't really see them change. I'll do a demonstration when we get back home of uh, watching them shiver and shake and change. Now here's a pigman, piglin, piglin. Now if I give, so he's not attacking me right now, but if I take off my helmet, oh, suddenly they're all after me and things are getting scary. So I'll put it back on. And once again, I am a respectable figure, which he will not attack. Uh, now, another, oh, that pit of lava. I hate it, I hate it. Come away from here. Hold on, I'm gonna put torches down just so I can see it better. Because that's too terrifying. Okay, so now if I see torches, I know to run away. Okay, now where did he go? We need we need more piglins. Okay, we'll go this way. And I'm gonna get some of this. What is that? What's the name of the stuff? Soul soil. Okay, then what's the name of this stuff? Soul sand, I'm guessing. Okay, soul sand, soul store, soul soil. Now the soul soil, soul, soul soil, far as hard to say, is the one that if you light it on fire, it will light blue. Um, okay, here's some piglins. I need lights. Okay, now let's swap. So it's as far as I know, this won't work like uh, traders. It will be more that I will click on him with a bar of gold. The gold will disappear, and instead I'll get an item in my inventory. So let's try it. Okay, what did he give me? Some ender pearls. Okay, that was easy. Ender pearls are kind of hard to get. What's he give me? More ender pearls. Oh, he's holding the gold. He likes it. Ah, cool. Okay, let's do it again. We got some nether bricks this time. So I wonder if it's all nether related stuff. Let's try again. So we got a brown mushroom. Okay, that's no good. Come back. Stay away from that lava pit. Okay, he threw me, I think, a mushroom. Okay, crimson fungi. So yeah, it looks like all they trade you for is things that they can get themselves from the nether. Which is cool. Which Because there are some things like magma cream, which is kind of hard to get. Um, other stuff which you make potions out of. I can't remember the name of it. He gave me gravel that time. Okay, that, that's no good. Whoa, look at all these lights. Let's quickly grab some of them. Oh yeah, that's all I need. And we'll try one or two more trades just to check out the variety of things. Okay, what did we get that time? Some glowstone? No, I already got glowstone dust. It must have been a double up of what we already had. Um, I don't know, maybe? I don't know what he gave me that time. One more. So, and it looks like you gotta wait for them to finish. Oh, there we go, shroom light. Yeah, it looks like you gotta wait for them to finish holding the bar before you can do another change. Okay, and a fire charge that time. That's again, kinda hard to get. Now, we want to just get some more of this stuff, which means we'll then be able to grow those big trees with the lights in the overworld. Grab, no, that worked, there we go. We don't need uh, shears to harvest that. Okay, and we didn't really, um, uh, oh, we need some of that. Yeah, there we go. I don't know what this green stuff does. It doesn't really seem to have much purpose. Okay, lava. Anyway, I don't know if we've really looked around that much. Okay, so it's, I don't have an axe, but you can, oh, here we go. Pickaxe works just as well. 
but this is wood that we can take back and build you know, trees and fences and houses and everything out of so we'll grab a bit now one big benefit to these trees is it makes those lights I don't know if I have no I didn't harvest it properly using you need to use a um, axe to harvest that I'd say now let's just get this last bit oh no it just dropped to the floor there we go okay now these mushrooms are what you use where are I? The crimson fungi you use to make those big red trees, the crimson trees, and the warped fungi you use to make the big uh, green trees, like these papellas with the cool purple trunks. Now, I really, just for um, appearances, I wish I had an axe. This pickaxe is working well, but it just rubs me the wrong way using an, a pickaxe to uh, chop down a tree. Okay. Looking good. We'll get another one of those. Nice, okay, we should be able to build something pretty cool with that. Now, um, I might get some of that soil, just in case you can't grow the, um, no, uh, the warped fungi, I think the green stuff's called. Just in case you can't grow the warped fungi trees without the <laughs> warped fungi, or the, the warped nil nilium, I think that's the name of everything. Uh, all these new names I'm struggling to learn. Now, uh, what else can we try with these piglins? The only other thing is, yeah, when I take off my... Actually, we'll go to the overworld and I'll show you some things. Because you've already seen them attack me, so we don't really need to do that again. Now, let's go back to the portal. I wanted to do so much exploring there, but uh, there's kind of no need. Everything was right there where I needed it. Okay, is it daytime yet? Yes, and the sun's coming up. Now let's do some uh, nether building, just to kind of see what we can do. Ah, oh, and I'll show you the piglins, because I have some eggs on me. There we are. Let's quickly see what they're like. See how he's kind of shaking and shivering? Oh, even the little babies. Okay, he's not happy. Very soon he's going to change. I wonder if the baby piglins changed into... There we go. So he just transformed. And the baby ones... Ah, oh, creepy. Look at them when they're transformed. Their whole head is a skull. Whoa, creeper. Okay, that wasn't too bad. <coughs> ah, pardon me. Now, so that was cool. Another little baby piglin will be off here somewhere being a creepy looking zombie pig baby now let's go back to the house I've got to go around the long way now we will build something what can I build well I'll show you how can I incorporate this into my house not very well I was going to show you the uh, weeping vines but we'll build something first or we could just do it here we'll just do it here okay they don't stick to that but I was going to build a house in the nether, but it's kind of unnecessary. So that's cool. So they will grow. And if we had bone meal, which I do not, <laughs> you can make it grow faster. Um, and another thing is I'll show you the how to grow the mushrooms. Okay, we've got everything we need. So I'll make a, find a space. This looks like it's going to be good enough. Oh, again, we need bone meal. Hold on. I'm just going to quickly... Use creative mode, get myself some bone meal. And then I can show you some more things. There we go. Ah, uh, we don't need that. Get rid of that. Now back to survival. Okay, now let's go for it. So we need mushrooms. Okay, now that bone meal we've got. Stand back and look at that. So that comes with vine, it comes with those uh, kind of not glowstones, what are they called? Shroom lights which are brand new, and then gives us wood, and then also the red kind of... I know what you call this stuff. Can we collect it? Yeah, we can. Whoa, baby zombie, baby creeper, you're creepy. Okay, nether wart block, so that's what that's called. Can we do anything with that? No. Be cool if we could just make nether warts out of that nether wart block. Let's try. I'm just going to do some experimentation. Actually, no, I don't think it's going to work. I was thinking if we could get nine of those... You could get some nether warts out of it, but nah, I'm dreaming. That doesn't make sense. Okay, now we'll try with the purpley kind of trees. The warped nilium and the warped mushroom. Warped fungi, that's the name. 
I'll show you. It does the same thing. If there's space, I, oh, there is space. Okay, there we go. So again, we get a shroom light. Hopefully, hopefully this one. No, it's too small. But uh, we get nice logs, which I'll use my pickaxe on, uh, just like both. And let's try to do another one, but get the um, shroom lights. Okay. Waha! Okay, yeah, there we go. So we got some shroom lights out of that one too. So using that, like if you just popped into the nether, got as many of those warped fungi and crimson fungi as you like, as well as one block of soil, you could grow as much of this wood as you like. You, you would have to keep going and getting more fungi every so often, but uh, it's still very cool how easy that is. And then with that wood, let's have a look. Do I still have my, I'm confused with the things I had built, I prepared before I fell into that lava. Uh, here we go. So let's tr see what we can build with that. So first we'll turn it into planks. Now we need some sticks. We'll use this crappy old birch to make some sticks. And let's just use the recipe book too now. This will kind of tell us everything we can build with some interesting stuff. Okay, no, it's crappy. We have to do it using our own brains. So let's make uh, some fences. There we go. Warped fence. You can also make a warped gate. There are some things where, I'll just lay them down for you. There you go. There's some things where you could use it just like you'd use normal timber. But yeah, see it just makes a normal wooden sword, not a red purple, no, pur red green kind of sword. Um, now I'll show you the, where is that crimson wood? I don't think we have any. No, we have to quickly chop some down. Okay, here it is. Now I'll show you what the um, crimson version of certain things are, like doors and gates and stuff like that. Okay, we do one more. No, one more again. That should be enough for our needs. Now this is just a snapshot. So as I'm telling you right now, this is all those things can do, but who knows what it'll be like next week. Maybe you'll be able to see some more things. Okay, so crimson trap door. Um, I'll show you the uh, other kind of trap door. Let's put them down over here maybe. Alloy flowers. Okay, so they're very cool. It's kind of cool, it's kind of wriggly there. Now make some uh, crimson fences. You can probably imagine what it's gonna look like, but it's kind of cool anyway. We don't need torches. Now I'll make the uh, gate. Okay. Now I'll put the gate here. And just like before, crimson fences. So there you go, so that's very cool. Uh, what else can we do with this wood? Um, doors, we can do some big doors. So I will, I've got enough to do a green one. I'm gonna have to chop down more logs, but the doors are very cool. I'm gonna replace this door just to show you how it looks. Again, I would love a pickaxe, I mean a, a ax. Okay, so that's the crimson, no, the crimson one, the warped door. Now, I'll quickly grab, oh here we go, we've got some wood on the floor. And I'll show you a crimson door. Got everything we need. And, where should we put this one? We'll put it over here. Okay, so that's the crimson door. It's kind of like a brick kind of pattern. Uh, still very cool, works the same. And if we, do we have any spares? I'll show you just what the timber looks like by itself. If we've got any spare wood. Uh, no, man, we used that up quickly. But uh, I'll show you the green wood next to it. Kind of looks, I don't know, sort of funky. I don't know a better word for it. There we go, so that's the uh, crimson door in the warped wood. And hey, it looks kind of like my banner, the similar colors. Anyway, guys, that was very, very brief, very, very messy kind of a tutorial. Not tutorial, just kind of very quickly checking out all the new things in the um, new 
Minecraft 1.16 snapshot. Uh, if you liked the video, like always, let me know by clicking the thumbs up like button. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do more Minecraft videos or more game playing videos. I also play a lot of Roblox. I could film that. It doesn't hurt. Uh, but guys, until next time, I hope you have a great week. Take care of yourself and I will see you later. Ah!